Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at how I make sugar fuel for a snap ring motor like this. I'm using a casting set from Always Ready Rocketry. The uh, inside casting tube here is just made from cardboard, uh, but the darker colored tube here is made from a phenolic resin, so it uh, resists the heat quite a bit better. Now I've already cut one of my uh, casting tubes here to the correct length I need. I'm using an old piece of casting liner just to facilitate the casting process. Uh, you absolutely have to have a digital scale or something, a triple beam or something that will weigh the chemicals accurately. And this is also an absolute must have is some sort of digital thermometer or some way to uh, measure the temperature so that we stay within the correct parameters. I have that casting station set up and ready to go. I have some non-stick spray uh, oil that I'm going to spray on the washers and coring tools here, some mixing sticks, and I uh, have the uh, casting grains ready to go here. I'm using some leftover fuel that I had from a previous casting. Uh, you can reuse it. You just need to uh, crunch it up, break it up a little bit, and that'll all remelt. I have a small electric burner set up here. It doesn't take a lot of heat to melt this sugar. If the burner turns red, then you want to turn it down. That means it's too hot. So I want to keep an eye on that. I also have my digital thermometer here so I can keep an eye on the temperature. I'm not going to heat it any more than 265 or 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and that's all the hotter I needed to make it to uh, melt the fuel. Now I have 195 grams of KNO3 or potassium nitrate here. I have 54 grams of carol syrup or um, corn syrup will work just as well. I add a couple of grams to the cup because it's really hard to get it out of there. And I have 51 grams of uh, powdered sugar. It's just regular powdered sugar. And those are our materials that we're gonna use. Uh, once I finish heating up the propellant, I'm going to take it off the burner and put it on a heating pad. You don't want to set the pan back on a hot burner. You want to make sure that fuel doesn't drip down the front, run down the front and touch the burner. First thing we want to put in is the carol syrup or corn syrup if that's what you have available. Why don't I let that heat up a little bit so we can melt some of that fuel that's already in there. At least get it soft before we put the sugar in it. Add about half of the sugar. Break up any pieces of propellant that are not yet melted. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit and you'll notice it will start to boil lightly. The burner's not red and the propellant is bubbling just a little bit. 240 degrees. I'm bringing the propellant up to the casting temperature of 265 to 270. 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Turn the burner off. Notice it gets a little foamy or frothy. Make sure you don't spill any of the propellant or splash it on the burner. Okay, that looks good to me. seven and a half minutes, uh, about eight minutes there. Careful that's still hot. Put that on the pad. Put our casting tube over the large washer and pour the propellant in.
if you have any propellant left over, you can just scrape it out onto the tray and use it for the next time. Now we'll take the oiled up end of the washer and put it on top. Be careful, the propellant's still pretty hot at this point, about 175 degrees. Push the coring tool down through the center. Straight as you can get it. Now we take our tamping tool and lightly start working that propellant down into the, into the casting. The castings are at about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So we want to pick this up. Be careful, it's still hot. Set it on top of this one inch PVC pipe. Try to keep the washer on the bottom of it, like that. And then push our way through. Once we push the coring rod through, we want to keep working the washer down. Make sure the fuel's nice and compressed in there. I can see that this coring tool is not quite straight. I'm going to move it to the center just a bit. And push down again and that'll fill in the area around the coring rod. It's still hot. Yeah, that looks pretty good. The casings are about 125 degrees, so they're still pretty warm. What I'm going to do is take, turn it over like this, and I'm going to push the coring rod through all the way through. And then I'm going to grab it with a uh, paper towel because that's still pretty hot. Now it's time to remove the washers. Just carefully get a small screwdriver in there, pull it up. If uh, it's disturbed in any way, the propellant's still soft, you can kind of move it around. I've trimmed up the edge of the grains and the last thing you want to do is pass the coring tool through the motor while it's still soft uh, and through the casting tube here to make sure that while you're trimming the grains up that you haven't deformed it in any way. Need to let these set overnight and then they are ready to use in your motor and in the next video I'll show you how to set up the uh, snap ring motor.